I've always, ever since I got the Apple Watch, I know there's some things that will like you can hit record, and and I've been always been waiting for that killer app for my watch to feel like it was part of my media workflow, I guess. And this is one, I guess this is a feature that just rolled out with a recent update. But uh, according to this, over, this article over on The Verge, um, this, this person learned that you can use your Apple Watch as a viewfinder for vlogging. So the idea is if you don't have the picture, uh, typically if you want to take video uh, with your iPhone, probably with any phone, you probably want to use the back camera right because it's going to be the better of the two cameras probably across the board uh so but then you can't see the framing you can't see what's going on there you can do other methods like connect it to a computer like how i kind of show apps over here but there is actually a function for you to show your video viewfinder and picture viewfinder on your apple watch so the fun thing is well for me i kind of figured out if you kind of hold with your apple watch and the phone right next to it you can see the viewfinder and mostly be looking at the at the same thing, and, and you're pretty good there. Um, but ideally, as they're showing in the picture, take your watch off, wrap it around your phone, and now you got a self cam like you know, just like you would if you're on a selfie cam viewfinder going on there. So how do you do that? You uh, <laughs> you you go to your camera remote app, um, and then on your on your watch itself open it on the phone and when you switch the video mode and set it up and record um and again the record button is going to be on the viewfinder itself and everything and it works pretty seamless now when i tried this i would say you use it as a potential like like kind of a guide i'm using a, a apple watch series 3 maybe because it's an older one this is why i'm having issues um it was very delayed but again, I think the biggest thing is you want to make sure that framing is correct, right? So if you have it there on your tripod or you're holding it or something, you're not going to move a whole lot and you'll have a good general idea at it. Again, if you have like the, what are we up to, Series 6 or something, um, if you have one of those, it may be a little more smooth because it's it's doing probably video over Bluetooth, right? And that could get a little fishy, Chilla. You're probably yeah, on Bluetooth. Uh, I'll be honest with you. So and i'm trying to think maybe it, it it may use it may use wi-fi if your phone depending on how you have your watch set up um because your watch can join wi-fi now mm -hmm. um even the series three could i will tell you that we use this repetitively over the christmas holiday really because and and thanksgiving because typically we when we're making dinner or we're doing something and we take family pictures of the three of us usually there's someone else in the house mm -hmm. to, to take the picture for us and we always take a picture with our turkey like the turkey in front of us and the, the and all three of us standing there and there was no one to take that picture and it was christopher that actually said how are we going to get our picture taken for for dinner and I said, and, and Carla is the one that said, oh, we'll just set it up with a tripod. And then I'm like, oh, but how am I going to frame it? It's going to look horrible. And I'm like, oh, the watch. And, and I'll tell you, we ended up using the watch trick. My, I told my dad about it. He used, they, he used the watch trick for family photos. Um, no, it, it, it's become like the, the norm. There you go. There you go. You can see that on the camera if you're on the video version. I actually just did it real quick while you were talking. And actually, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's pretty, I mean, it's pretty quick. And then we used the the timer feature too. Because if you're taking a photo, there, it'll it'll use the timer. Mm -hmm. So then it's like a three three second delay and the flash will flash and then and, it'll take the picture. And you do have the record button and you have the, I think that is the, oh no, there's a little three button thing. What does that do? <gasps> Ooh, from here, you have a menu to switch which camera you're using. Mm -hmm. and turn on the flash sec like all the stuff that would be basically at the top of your of your screen so that's pretty cool that's a nice little hack if you if you happen to have all these things so um and i think this this does roll back i don't know if it probably doesn't roll back before the series three so um so that's a little little media tip if you have an iphone if you have an apple watch um and i keep seeing if anybody interested in apple watch the um the threes um keep going down in price from what i'm I've been seeing. And I imagine it works probably with, I don't know, would it work with an iPad? 
I'm not sure. There's no there's watch. No, there's app no watch app, app, so it doesn't connect in the same way. That's right. So that's uh, have fun with that. So 